So, hi, I'm Mara Cristina Gabriel from Group 1 to BSN 11 at University of Pangasinan FIMA. And today, I'll be performing the evaluation checklist on essential intrapartum and newborn care practice, or also known as EINC. So, let's start. So, today we have a 28 year old woman with Gravida 1 Paraguay presented in the delivery room. After 8 weeks of gestation and a 7 cm cervical dilation, the woman complains of strong contractions. I checked the vital signs and the BP is 130 over 80 mm mercury and the maternal pulse rate is 90 beats per minute and a temperature of 37.5 degrees Celsius which is a low grade fever. Christina. So, how are you feeling today? Are you comfortable no, with your position? So, mom, do you want to go to this comfort room or eat or drink something before we proceed to the delivery room? None? Okay, mom, I will move you to the delivery room. So, I'm done delivering the woman in the delivery room. So, we will proceed to measuring the room temperature, which it prevents the mother and the baby from having hypothermia. So the normal room temperature is ranging from 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. There is a device that is used to measure the room temperature but since we don't have that device we'll be using this paper. So if this paper falls down in front of me means it has a normal room temperature. So it falls in front of me so the room is having a room a normal room temperature and the other way is to prevent or to contain the normal room temperature is by closing the windows and doors hello mom are you comfortable with your semi erect position or the dorsal recumbent position okay so after securing that our patient's comfortable, we need to provide her privacy by covering all the curtains around her or if there are no curtains provided, we'll be closing the door to assure that the, it will not promote the patient's anxiety and to um, promote comf a comfortable environment to the patient. And after that, before we proceed to the next procedure, we should remove all jewelries and then we will be doing the hand washing procedure, doing the WHO hand washing technique, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hand washing technique. So after washing our hands thoroughly, we will be arranging our equipment and tools in a linear fashion. And after that, we'll be proceeding in cleaning the premium area. So now we'll be proceeding in cleaning the premium area of the mother. So in cleaning the premium area of the mother, we'll be having three strokes from the left side and three strokes from the right side and one stroke in the middle. So we will be using a cotton ball with a antiseptic. So we will now cleaning the premium area. So in cleaning the premium area, we will be doing the zigzag stroke. So which is zigzag drop, discard, zigzag drop, discard, and gently in the middle, discard. So if there is any still remain, we will zigzag drop and zigzag drop. So that's how we clean the premium area. So after we clean the premium area, we'll be discarding the used gloves and do the another hand washing procedure and hand hygiene and we'll be getting new set of gloves. second gloving and the next procedure is by encouraging the patient to push so let's go so push 
push mom, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, okay mom, push, push. So, after that, we would get the dry linen to support the baby and drink the mother. So now, I'm gonna control the premium and control the head of the baby. Baby out, 6.45, baby girl. And now we will go pot dry the baby for 30 seconds. While drying the baby, we'll be assessing if the baby is breathing normally. So we will be assessed if the baby is crying. So now we will be removing the pet cloth. Start and after we remove the cloth, we will be moving the baby near the breast of the mother. So after providing the second blanket or the second spot to the baby for giving work, we'll be now palpating the abdomen for giving a security and assurance for the mother if there is a second baby. And also it's the preparation for the oxytocin. So, so now we'll be removing the second set of gloves. So when we remove our second set of gloves, we'll be decontaminated it by soaking it in a 0.5 chlorine solution in 10 minutes. So after getting a new set of gloves, we will now check the pulsation in the umbilical of the baby. So if there are no pulsation that is palpated, we will now clump by using a plastic cup. So assume that this is the plastic cup used in the medical or the clinics since we don't have one. We'll be clumping up the 2 cm from the base. The next will be clumping 5 cm naman. So after putting the two clumps, we will now cut the umbilical from the near the first clump, so but not in the midway. So now we're cutting the umbilical. So there are 10 units of oxytocin administered to the woman after the uterus was delivered. So the next procedure is the massaging the uterus to make the placenta come out but we don't need to force to make the placenta come out because it may cause the woman to have hemorrhage. So assuming that the placenta is detached, we will check for its completeness and abnormality. So the placenta is out, so we will also check for its color, there is its for abnormal characteristics. So we will now place the placenta to the kidney basin. Assuming that this is a kidney basin since we don't have the real one. So now we will check the premium of the mother and clean it. So with a cotton ball with just sterile water and make sure that it's clean. So we will do the zigzag drop and the stop. Zigzag drop this card. Baby drops this card. Zig drop this card. So there are no abnormalities or any signs of problems. So after we clean the premium, we will now apply the premium pad or napkin. So we will now apply it. Hold on. 
So now we are done with the deliver of the placenta and I discarded the placenta into a plastic bag and later I will be washing all the contaminated materials and equipment. him the first classroom since it's the most nutritious milk from youth and it, it serves as an antibodies and serves as to strengthen the baby's immunity. So let me guide you in how to feed the baby. So after the procedure we will now administer the HEPA B shot, vitamin K, oxytocin shot, the BCG and also the eye ointment for the baby and we will be checking a physical examination thoroughly with the mother and the baby and after all the procedures we will now complete all the records com completing the administration of BCG hepatitis B vitamin K the oxytocin and the eye ointment and also we will be recording the physical examination, the vital signs of the baby and the mother, and also cleaning our tools and equipments. <laughs> 